Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, this is Doreen and Alice, and we're here to talk about overhead press on the reformer today. You've all seen this, we lay prone on the box, put the hands on the foot bar, push out and in. There's a lot of moving parts and there are a lot of parts that are probably moving that maybe shouldn't be moving and a lot of things that are out of place that maybe we can try and get the clients to put into place. So I'm going to ask Alice if she was in a class and I would just say, can you lift your arms up overhead for me? And I'm having her do it sideways to the camera so we can see how high her arms come or don't come. Right? So that's as far as Alice can go today. Right? She might have some other stuff going on, but she's like, that's as far as my arms can go overhead today. But if I put her on her belly with her hands on the foot bar at that level, she's going to have to be in this position. So how is she going to be able to do that? She's probably going to have to thrust her ribs to get her arms to come up or pulling it from someplace else. But she's not going to be focusing on using the muscles that we think or that we hope that she's going to use. So I'm going to ask Alice to go ahead and lay on her belly. And then instead of putting the hands on the top of the bar, I can either lower the bar, but in this case, I'm going to use the sides of the foot bar, right? So when she goes, goes ahead and straightens her arms, you can see that now her arms are probably about the same height as they were when she lifted her arms here. So this way she's not having to pull further extension of her, of her shoulders from her lower back. Her ribs are nice and down in a nice neutral. Her pelvis is in a nice neutral. Right? So slowly come on back and her shoulder blades are staying nice and stable and we don't have any elevation going on up in the upper traps. So go ahead, Allison, do me a favor and put your hands on the top of the bar. Right? And as you push out, you're gonna draw that from here. So she's pushing out, but her arms can't go overhead. So A, she's going to have to stop before her arms get to straight, which is shortening range of motion. So why would we wanna do that? Right? Or she's going to have to arch in her back or squeeze her shoulder blades together or compensate in some other form or fashion. So go ahead and go back home. So I prefer to either lower the bar or in, if you're in a class situation, it's a lot easier to just slide your hands down the foot bar rather than change the foot bar up, change the foot bar down, change the foot bar up and down for various exercises. I like to make everything flow. So go ahead and push out again. So this way she's coming away from the foot bar. Her arms are at a nice angle for her. And then this way we can engage other muscles that should be working in this case. Beautiful, and then slowly come back home. So she's not having to do anything fancy or funky. And that's overhead press with a little variation, trying to get body alignment and awareness. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.